Hi, welcome to AI Late to Class. Today's episode is just going to be on installing Confi in a Windows environment using either Python, Miniconda, or Anaconda, whichever you prefer. It's particularly focused on WAN 2.2, so we're going to have Sage Attention 2 in there, just trying to get the 40% faster that people are saying it does. Um, and, you know, Triton installed. We've just got to make sure that all of these things and version numbers are all correct so that everything can go fine. Um, I wouldn't worry about things like tcache or magcache uh, because we're using fast LoRa's and trying to get those steps down. Those things are really no good for those sort of speed ups. So we have to make sure that we've got a clean install. Um, you could use something like Pinocchio. I uh, wouldn't recommend it. It's uh, might muck you up when you get into other things when you want to install other programs and stuff um, so just trying to keep your python environment clean and that's another thing is when you do just want to install this through python you've got to make sure you have the right version which is 3.10 um, so if you've got higher ones you'd have to uninstall that and put in 3.10 um, but anyway looking over at the workflow here i'm not going to be talking about this today with the what models you need, um, text encoders or anything like that because my other video on WAN 2.2 shows you all of those things. This is particularly just trying to solve all of those problems that you have um, when you install Python that get an understanding about them. I mean it look, might look a bit daunting when you see all these Python installs or even Anaconda in that and not have any idea what's going on. If you follow this all the way through you'll get you'll sort of get more of an understanding and hopefully know uh, how we can get the fastest we can um, out of this so if you like this subscribe and just watch through it before we do anything we've got to check what the nvidia gpu driver is installed so i'm on chat here and there's a command here i'm going to go on to the anaconda powershell and paste that in and there it goes, I've got driver version 5.7.2 and CUDA version 12.8. So I'm already uh, all right to go, but if you're not seeing those things, you've got a list here. If your driver is higher than 5.3.5, then you're going to have CUDA 12.6 toolkit. But as you can see, that's the versions you need to go through. If you haven't got Anaconda or Miniconda installed, then go to this website here, Miniconda, or this one for Anaconda. Um, click on the downloads. I'll put those links in the comments. Um, but if you don't want to use either of those products and you just want to do this by command prompt and install Python, then just watch this next bit. So if you've got Python installed, you want to check out what version it is first. You really need this version 3.10 to do the setup that I'm um, going to be going through today. Um, I've tried ones above and then we had problems with Sage Attention and stuff like that. So this is the one that I've found works the best. So here's the page there for the download. Get that going. Uh, then you can go into your command prompt. I've already got it here, but you can go change directory and change it to the directory that you want to install and it'll change my directory which i'm already in and then we need to go python name it confi and then we set up our environment once you've made your environment then you need to activate it so here's the line i've got for that there so that confi whatever you named your environment that's what you put after the first slash press enter and then you've activated it so now uh, you can skip this next bit on the video on the anaconda bit and you'll have a line at the top that tells you when you can continue. If you've got your driver installed then the next step is conda create and name it confi ui python 3.10. Once we've got our python environment set up we've got to activate it. I've already got that written here right conda activate in the name of the environment in this case I call it confi UI so I activate that and the next step is this line here which I'll paste in the comments um, pip install torch 2.7 and um, actually change that last one to 
one, two, six. I'll have that change too. Press that there. And that's going to go off and install all of the things that we need. Right, now we're going to install Sage Attention too. So I've got this line here. And see how this goes. The next thing we need to do is install Triton. So we do this line here. Pip install Triton Windows. Click enter. So on the Confi UI website now, and I just come up to this little green box, and I copy that line there, and go back to my command prompt, and type in git clone, and paste that in. And that should just download all of the folders and stuff that's with it into that folder that uh, we changed the directory to. Now that that's done, we're going to have to change our directory because it's made a new folder called Comp for UI. So for me, it's Comp for UI folder inside the Comp for in folder. Um, but we need to put the CD in front of it so it changes the directory to that. So as you can see now, now I'm in the directory, we've got to install the requirements um, for Comp for UI. So we go over here, pip install requirements. Go back here, paste that in, and then let that all of those things install, which are probably take a little bit of time as well. Now we get to run Comp UI. So I paste this one in Python main. Hopefully this works. Yep, that's come up. So we have to go over here and then click this. So use control and click. That seems to open it up. And there we've got some missing nodes already. That's okay, we'll deal with that in a minute. So installing the nodes manually, it's just a bit of a hassle. See, I just look at these names and um, it's not always the way of doing it, but I look at that and go, right, unit loader, GGUF. Go into Google. And I type in Confi UI and it's some recommendation there of Confi nodes, so I can see this one here, and this looks like the one I need, so I can, there's a couple of ways I can do that, obviously we can go there, click on the um, copy thing, and we can get clone that into the Conf UI nodes folder, or we can just uh, download a zip and unzip it and drag it in. In the Conf UI folder, there is this custom nodes folder. Right, so go in there and I can go up to the top bar here and type in git clone and then paste that what I copied from the site. So that'll clone that into the directory. There it is there. We need to be looking at this requirements text because that's the next thing that we need to be running. Back in the Anaconda PowerShell, right, we do Control and C to stop the server. We're still in the Conf UI Enviro that we set up. We've got to make sure that you can see down here it's got Conf UI. Make sure that those things say Conf UI. If it's Anaconda, it'll just say one of those. Back to changing the directory again because now we're in custom nodes and we're in the Comp UI GGUF. So here I just click that and now we're in that folder. And my next line, same as we did before, pip install the requirements. There's a text folder in there that also says requirements. So we do that and that will then install all of the things. I'm now going to change the directory back to the D Comp UM Comp UI folder. I've got that there, now I'll look for the one that I said was Python main, right that there, and that should run how Conf UI again, but this time just the GGUF node should not have a red line, we should have installed that manually now. Right, start it up, and now we don't have our GGUF as one of the missing nodes. We do have other missing nodes, and we could go through and do that manual installation, but that's taking too long, right? So we want to have a Conf UI manager and we're going to go and install that and so, so hopefully we won't need to do this process every time we've got missing nodes. 
All right, we want to stop the server again, so Control C, so we're back to here. And we're going to find that nodes folder, so um, I'm just looking around. Let's just go to there. We've got CD there, so change directory to the custom nodes folder. We're going to go to the website, so let's have a look up here somewhere. Um, go here, click copy there for the Comp UI manager. Go back in here, and we'll type git clone. Paste that in there, and it should paste the manager in there. Change directory, Comp UI manager, and now we're going to up install the requirements for that one. Manager installed correctly, so let's go back and change our directory right back to that one there. And now we can go back and run our main again. Here it is there. Control click. Back on here, should be the missing nodes tool there. I'm not going to open manager from here, that doesn't seem to work too well sometimes. So we'll click up here, and we'll go into the manager over here. And it's got install missing custom nodes. So we'll click on that one. It's got failed to find that. Alright, so I'm going to install both of these. And... Um, you can tick them over here and and so that way it installs both. Um, I'll just do that. And of course you have to restart the whole system. Don't worry about these things over here. The KJ1 seems to do a lot of those errors but it doesn't seem to cause problems. So um, let's just restart that. Hopefully this time everything works, clock on this, and yeah, it's all ready to go. Um, if there's any problems with the manager and it's not installing, well you know how to install manually as well now, so this should be ready to do what you want.